Hi, my dear listener. My name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church in Badon, Nigeria. I have a I feel led in my spirit to share this with you, and I call it looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. In the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse eight, the Bible says, "This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth." But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. When the Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. In those days when I was a younger Christian, I used to think that it reads, that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy eyes. But as I was growing older in the Lord, I understood it to mean what it really says. That this book of the law, talking about the word of God, talking about the Bible, talking about God's instruction for life, he said this instruction of God must not depart out of your mouth. But you must meditate in it day and night. That you and I should think about his word every time, every day, every night. That is his command. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Meaning that your mouth must always speak the things that are inside the book of God. Whatever situation you face, the thing that must come out of your mouth must be things that are written in the book of the law, which is the Bible, which is the word of God, which are the instructions of life for you. This is God's command. And what does that mean? For example, let me just explain it so that you can have a good understanding of what the Bible is saying in that place. The Bible is saying, for instance, when you face difficulties and you are broke and there is no money in your pocket, when you want to obey that word that says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. When you come to a situation in your life that you are broke, you are not going to speak that you are broke. You are going to speak what the word says. And what does the word say? The word says, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply not some of my needs, but all of my needs. When Ever you are going, you are having headache, or any slight symptom of any disease or fever, the thing that should come out of your mouth is the word of God. And what does the word of God says concerning your sickness? The word of God says, "By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed." By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. When you are passing through danger and difficulties, you have to speak the word of God. The Bible says, Though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because I know that you, God, you are with me. So that is what he's saying when he says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. That means that in every situation you find yourself, you speak the word of God. You don't speak the situation. I, I used to say to people several times, you don't speak about the problem. You speak to the problem. Because when you speak about the problem, you make the problem get bigger. But when you speak to the problem, what does it mean? You tell the problem what you want it to do in your life. When a problem comes to your life, you speak the word of God to that problem. You tell that problem what you want it to do in your life. Not what you, you, you want to tell that problem what outcome you want to, to the problem to have. For instance, if you don't have money, you don't just say, I, I am broke, I am sick, I don't have money. Because once you say it, that is what will happen. 
But when you don't have money, you say, my God shall supply all my needs. That means the book of the law is not departing out of your mouth. But when you are saying, I don't have, the word, the book of the law is departing out of your mouth. I want you to understand what I am saying. This is what God is teaching you this morning or whatever moment it is you are listening to me. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, for thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Success comes when the word of God is in your mouth. Success comes even though you pass through the valley of the shadow of death. You keep speaking the word of God. Then success is inevitable. You don't speak what you are going through. You don't speak your problems. You don't speak your negatives. You speak the word of God. And it happens. May the Lord help you. May God fill you with power and wisdom. May God grant you wisdom to be able to understand what I have spoken to you. God bless you. Once again, Sunday Joseph Adenuga is my name. The pastor of Sources Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. You can support this ministry by writing me Western Union in that name. Sunday Joseph Adenuga, Sources Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. You can contact me through my phone. Plus 234-80-540-0242. My website address is sourcesdimensionchurch.blogspot.com or demonifier.com www.demonifier.com Thank you. May the Lord bless you as you listen. God bless you. Thank you.